Now let's go live to our Kwon so She is at the Jindo Indoor Auditorium down in the coastal city. So uh, it's been over 33 hours since the vessel began to capsize. Uh, this, this must be a harrowing time for the families of those missing, especially the parents of these high school students. How are they coping with this incident? When I arrived here at the Jindo Indoor Auditorium, it was a very sad sight. Sounds of wailing are filling the gym. Now, hundreds of families of the missing people, which are mostly high school students, are gathered here awaiting any kind of new development and are still hoping for their loved ones to return safe to them. Now, companies and civic groups like Red Cross and Welfare Foundations have sent relief supplies, including food, water, raincoats, and hot packs. But much of the food has been left untouched. 500 volunteers are helping out, which includes nurses who care for family members that fainted. Now, so we heard that uh, President Bakone is there to comfort the families of those missing and answer any questions these families might have, right? That's right, Daniel. At around 4.20 p.m., the, the auditorium began to bustle as President Park Geun-hye arrived here to talk with the families and console them. She vowed to help them in any way and that she called for the utmost effort to the rescue crews. Now, the families had many questions. They were skeptic about the rescue crews, saying whenever they went to the site, they did not see the hundreds of rescuers that were supposed to be at help. When one became outraged about the fact that the families get to know about the rescue situations by watching the news, people joined in by shouting. Now, President Park assured them that by the evening, a screen will be installed in the auditorium for live observation. And she added that the families should be the first ones to know of the latest and assured them that they will be informed about the next steps, such as the process of inserting oxygen into the ship and the trains that are scheduled to pull up the ship early tomorrow. By around 5 p.m., President Park left the auditorium and many families went to a shuttle bus that took them to the accident site. I will fill you in with more later on. Guys? Our Kwon Soa reporting live from Chindo Indoor Auditorium where the families of the missing passengers of the capsized ferry remains gathered desperately waiting for good news.